Oh, nice. Okay, welcome back to the channel. Today, what we're going to be doing is a bit of a modification with the old Holden Rodeo. So for those that are just joining, what I have is just an old 2000 uh, Holden Rodeo that I used for a bit of hunting, camping and fishing. Uh, I have done a few previous videos of different mods that I have done on it. So what I will do is link those above here for those that are interested. But the plan of attack today is a slight upgrade on the 12 volt system. So what I'm doing is currently just running a 140 amp hour AGM battery, running a 60 litre fridge, got a solar panel on the roof. What I have just been running is a PWM controller. So this is the solar regulator. So from the solar panel to the regulator, back into the battery. I've been running this pretty solidly probably for the last year and a half. So I have my fridge in my canopy going full time pretty much all the time. Uh, I went to use it the other day and I noticed the screen wasn't displaying, so I had a bit of a play around, and I believe that this is, something's gone wrong with this unit. So, anyway, it gave me the excuse, excuse to go out and buy a few more bits and pieces. So what I've decided to do is jump on to an MPPT solar controller. So for those that don't know, apparently the MPPT controllers um, are a little bit more effective or efficient at charging your battery or taking the solar panel power from the solar panel and putting it back in your in your battery. So what I've gone for is just a 20 amp MPPT solar controller and while I was at it I saw that these were on special so uh, this is just the 12 volt control box that probably you've all seen but picked this up for 130 delivered this was 50 delivered so well, yeah decided to grab both and yeah thought it'd be just a nice little upgrade to the to the Rodeo. Okay, before I get these unboxed, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please jump down below, click the like button, hit the subscribe button, it really helps out the channel. But okay, let's get these unboxed. One, two, three, okay. Unboxed, ready to go. Uh, like I say, most of you have probably seen these. Uh, pretty good bang for your buck, for what I can see. Uh, seems like it's pretty good quality. Plan will be, mount this here, and then mount the unit into the back of my canopy. So hopefully that will smarten it up a little bit, get it all kind of a little bit neater. I'll show you my existing kind of layout and um, yeah, hopefully just clean it up and it'll be interesting to see how we go with the, the new MPPT solar regulator. But okay, so what we'll do now, just pull the ute up and start playing around and get it mounted. Okay, so I've actually managed to pull everything out before I got any video of it, my previous setup. So if I do find anything, I'll show you what it was looking like. Okay, so just finished up wiring up the fridge to the solar panel into the battery. Um, not a super tidy job, but first kind of time doing something like this, so. But it was pretty messy. Messy, wasn't very clean. So the plan of attack is gonna cover up these wires, mount this box in here. I was running everything through the battery box, but I'm gonna kind of scrap that, use the battery box just as a battery box, and then run everything through the control panel. So hopefully you should clean it all up. Got the solar panel, gotta clean this all up, and yeah, just hopefully make it a little bit tidier, and um, yeah, should look the part. Okay, I got my control box. First step is I'm just gonna mount my solar regulator on the front. Uh, also the way that this is wired, I'm just gonna put another hole in here with the grommet thing to always do is double check you haven't got anything on the other side that you're going to hit. So it's going to be up on here, coming through, plenty of room, nice and clear. So I'll get this mounted up. Okay, four holes are drilled. Now let's get it mounted. Okay, just a bit of Loctite to keep it from moving. I'll keep the screws from moving. Okay, solar regulator is mounted. So I've got this grommet. What I'm gonna do is just drill a hole and put that grommet in there. And then I can just run to the wires directly from the regulator through here and then they're, they're tucked away. 
And once again, checking there's no wires behind. Hole's been cut, got a bit of a grommet. Gonna put that into position, and that should hopefully tidy that up a bit. Okay, next step I need to do is drill a hole in the back here. This is where my cables are gonna come from my starter battery. The way I've kind of done it originally, it was pretty messy, so I wanna get that all hidden inside this box. So I found my location, and once again, just gonna drill it. So this week, well, I've got my uh, leads from my starter motor coming through. Now what I should have done is four holes into this box, and then I can bolt this onto the, onto the canopy, but yeah, that's gonna really tidy it up, look good. Okay, what I'm gonna do is take this off now, um, drill my four holes, mark it up on the canopy, drill those, and then bolt it in. Okay, the control box is mounted. Now time to start running some wires. Well that's annoying, my soldering iron has just given up the go and I'm in isolation so it's not just an easy whip down to the shop and grab it. Oh, annoying. Okay. Okay so I just finished wiring it all up and I plugged the solar panel into the regulator and nothing. So the first thing I should have done probably before I started this is actually check my solar panel. And so I checked what I was power I was getting out of it and nothing. So I ripped it off the roof, had a bit of a look-see and one of my connections had come loose. So uh, yeah, kind of did all this for, for nothing, but I have now got a nice upgraded system. So it's a win-win. Um, but once again, I've done it before. I did it on my last of all, a video a while ago when I was doing a thumper. Um, I ended up buying a new thumper when I didn't actually need one. Uh, yeah, I've done it the same. I've well, done something similar. My diagnosis at the start was incorrect. It was the solar panel playing up, not my regulator. But uh, like I said, now I've got a new setup and just finish it off. I'll put the solar panel back on the roof and um, should be looking good. Hey, okay. let's do it. Okay, well there's the finished product. Uh, super stoked with it, it looks clean, tidy. Um, it's definitely smartened it up a bit in the back here. The only thing I am a little bit concerned about is the voltmeter is reading between like 15 to 15.2 volts. So, I'm not sure why it's so high. If anyone knows the answer to that, please you know, feel free to drop a comment in, the, in below. You know, I thought it would be sitting max like 14 volts. So that's just running off the solar. 15.1, seems high but Seems to be running, um, but yeah, like I say, if you do know the answer to that or why it is running so high, please uh, drop that in the comments below. That's the, uh, the setup for the moment. What I will do is gonna hook up my canopy lights to one of the switches. I'm also gonna mount some um, outdoor lights on the, on the roof tray, so, which I'll hook up with a relay, which I'll do at a later date. But yeah, that's it for the moment. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, jump on liquidantler.com, get some merch, Thank you very much. Until the next one, catch ya.